Hey, you human. Coach Nate here with another mindful focus to share with you. In this post, we're going to discuss, it says, while you can't control someone's negative behavior, you can control how long you participate in it. Face it, people make mistakes. And more often than not, the first time, it is simply a mistake. But that's not what we're talking about here. When the other part of that, it's the first time it's a mistake, the second time it's a choice. Another, another conversation. Know that people do things for a, a variety of, of reasons and motivations. They may be seeking attention. They may feel um, uh, like they, they need to for, for some, some reason. There may be something they're trying to extract, some, some goal they're trying to achieve. It may be something they're working through internally or something that they're seeking externally. Their, their motivations are, there, there are quite a few of them, yet then at the same time there seems to be some commonality um, and repetition in in, in people's uh, behaviors. But understand and know this, those negative behaviors, those uh, harmful behaviors that others exhibit that impact us, more than often stem from trauma that they have experienced. Big T trauma, little t trauma, lots of them trauma. And that could be psychologically, um, lead to psychological disorders, and or even personality disorders um, created, then you know, we can dive into or we can talk about whether it's genetic. The fact of the matter is there's, there's something going on within them that may be the reason for the behavior. So in other words, it's not you, even it's not even about you. It, it's about them and what is going on inside of them and their, their, their life experiences. Um, a lot of that can tie back to childhood trauma that occurred. Some just awful, intentional, abusive. Others, not intentional. You know, parents trying to do the best they could with what they have, and they didn't get it right. And that in turn caused trauma that occurs. Regardless, we cannot change another human being. We can't. We can't even change ourselves unless we want to. So the other part of that statement is an, indiv an individual will only change if they want to, if they choose to. The doctor can write out the prescription, but if you don't fill it and you don't take it, no benefit. It, 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 they can't, we can't force change on, on other human beings, and, 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 we, and we shouldn't. Yes, we can influence, or we may be able to influence um, but seldom can we compel or ever make them make the change. They, they in, under duress, may modify or give the appearance of making a change to temporarily lessen the impact of our oppressing them. That's, that's not healthy. That's not change. That's not, it's not, it's not healthy, period. So understanding that, and, and, and it is important to embrace that as adults, we get to live with the consequences of our decisions. We may want to spare other people whom we care about from making decisions that don't serve them and that aren't in their best interest. If they are an adult, there are times where we have to let go and say they get to live with the consequences of their decisions. That was their choice. We may have tried to influence, we may have tried to share, we may have tried to impart to an extent. And we, it happens, as you know, on a daily, when we try to interact with individuals. Some info is, is uh, knowledge is received, other is rebuffed. Our work is done upon the sharing and expressing. Their choice, their decision, their consequences, not yours. So in terms of the, the let go, live, not win, the how to 
let go, live now, when. Plain truth. Going to be the master of the obvious here. People lie. But behavior patterns don't. People lie. Behavior patterns don't. When you see a continual and a repeated type of behavior being displayed, enacted, carried out by an individual, they're telling you who they are, what their values are, what their principles are, what matters to them, what their focus is. And as Maya Angelou so eloquently said, when people tell you who they are, believe them. We are not served by trying to change someone from who we think they should be or expect or even want them to be when they have clearly shown us, this is who I am and this is who I'm going to be. And until I choose to be somebody else, this is the way that it is. It's a futile effort and a not good use of your time and your life and your energy and your focus. Instead, we're better served to focus on what we can control ourselves, our actions, our behaviors, being the type of person that we want to have in our lives, that we want to interact with. There's a starting point. We could spend all of our time just focused on that. Being the type of person that we want to have a relationship with rather than trying to focus on changing another person to be who we want them to be so we can have a relationship with them. It's loss leader. Know that you have no obligation to participate. There, there is no trophy or, or a green ribbon that you get awarded for participating in other people's choices that don't serve them and that certainly don't, won't serve you. As a word of caution, there could be a fine. There could be costs. It could cost you more than you ever expected. Take much more of your time, energy, and focus than you ever wanted. And, and it could cause wounds, permanent wounds that can leave permanent scars. So when we are dealing with toxicity, being vigilant about our boundaries and self-protection, hard boundaries, not soft boundaries. Boundaries, as I talked about in the previous videos, are not grudges. Boundaries are ways to protect ourselves, our mental health, and our well-being, whom we are the first and, quite frankly, only one responsible. We don't, shouldn't have an expectation and others are going to do something that that's our priority. We would hope that, that isn't, that's not the world in which we live. We live in a world where it is me first, me only, of callousness, of apathy, we could go on, many adjectives. So your number one focus goal for yourself, for your mental health and well-being is making sure those boundaries are in place, especially when there's toxicity, not being casual and not, well, I might hurt their feelings. You could do yourself far more harm than their feelings and their feelings are fickle and they flight and they can change in a moment. Meanwhile, you're sitting over here wounded deeply, losing limb and even life. Maintain your boundaries and toxicity. You don't have to participate. Just sharing some uh, insights with you. Feel free to try it or toss it. Both answers can be correct. Only you can determine which of those for yourself. If you like this content, feel free to give a like and a subscribe. Also hit the notification button so you know when I post additional content like this. And if you know somebody that they, they could benefit from this, please share it with them to help them in their life journey as they progress forward. And most of all, always remember to let go, live now, and win.